So I'm going to go just through really quick and show you how to use some of the features on Newzella. So the first thing I want to point out to you is depending on how your iPad is oriented, if you're holding it the hamburger or the hot dog way, um, your features are going to be, or your tools, I'm sorry, are going to be in a different spot. Right now when I'm holding my iPad up and down the hot dog way, um, you can see along the bottom is where I have my search, my browse, my assignments, my binder. If I turn my iPad the hamburger way, um, or horizontally, you can see now that my search, browse, content, assignments, and binder now are along the top of my screen. So I'm going to actually turn my screen back the hot dog way because for me that's easiest to use, but if you would like to use it the other way, just remember um, your tools are going to be on the top and not the bottom. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is just the search feature. So if I type in search, here I'm going to be able to type in any topic that I wish to find, and when I hit return, it is going to bring me to several different articles. Once I find an article that I like, I'm going to click on it. And once I click on it, there are a couple of different features that are really neat for you as you're reading the article. First, up here in the top right corner, you will see it says 1180L. This is called the Lexile level, and I am able to change this um, to adjust the words and to adjust the language that is used in um, in the article as it's written. It does not change the content. It just changes and makes the reading maybe a little bit easier um, to understand if you need that. So right now I went to the 750 Lexile level and if you look down here you can see that it's recommended for text level 4. So that would be a little bit lower of a reading level. If I want to go up a little bit to 940 you can see that now I have moved to text level 6 all the way up to the max text level which would be a 12th grade reading level. You are able to self-select and find the Lexile level that is most comfortable for you. No one is going to know what level you are reading it at. This is for you only. Um, another feature in Newzella that is very nice is this read aloud feature. So you see right under here the title where it says FBI turns away many applicants who fail lie detector tests. There is the third option in here says read aloud. So I'm gonna hit this. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it but when I touch the read aloud, FBI turns away many applicants who fail lie detector tests. But so I'm going to pause, but you guys were able to see when I hit that read aloud feature, it will read the text to me. Again, nobody is going to know if you are using this. This is for you only. Um, the last thing that I want to point out to you is right under here, usually on Newzella, there's going to be a title up here at the top, some different options, a picture, and then underneath, where we're going to find the author is going to be right under the picture. So you can see it's by Brandon Jack of The Age. It gives you a date that it was published. So when you're going through and trying to figure out if this is a credible source, having the author's name and the date that it was published is also something that's very important. So those are just a few of the key features of 